SEGA! Hey folks, Gilo here, and this is going to be my fourth Let's Play, Mega Bomberman for the Sega Genesis, made in 1994 by Hudson Soft. Yes. So we're gonna start this off with a... Kamehameha! La 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 Yes, there is a comet floating through space. And it's headed towards Earth. And here's our main hero, the Blue Bomber Bomberman. Wait, the Blue Bomber's Mega Man. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> so it destroys the five seals around the Earth, and boom! It splits into five pieces. This That's crazy. So here we have normal game, battle mode, and password. Uh, normal game's the story, battle mode's multiplayer, and password, you pretty much just put in a password to continue where you left off. Simple as that, I'll just put that in, just random numbers. So anyway, um, this game has the kangaroos in it. I'm not too sure if they were introduced before or after this game. I know there was a game on the Super Nintendo with the kangaroos, but I'm not too sure. So let's start this story mode. Yes, the f there's four kangaroos in total, a blue, pink, purple, and yellow one. And each one has a special power. So anyway, here's area one, the jam and jungle. Let's kick this off. Alright, so here we are walking into the temple, and yes, this is Area 1, Stage 1, and behind the stage you can see a silhouette of the boss of the area, so can anyone guess what that is? I already know, I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> so let's do this, do this, speedrunning tactics. We're going to fly through the stage. Alright. As you can see, those oddly colored destructible blocks are actually enemies. I mean, you can run into them, they won't kill you, but they just give extra points if you destroy them. Oh wow, I almost died from that bunny. There we go, we got him. So yes, there's um, a shard piece inside the glass container in the center of the map, and you destroy these crystal balls to, to, get to, to, open, to break the glass container and gather the shard piece. It's like an Inuyasha or something. We have to gather the shard pieces before the evil what's-his-face does. Anyway, so here we have a mechanical enemy. I like calling it one of those chicken walkers because it reminds me of Star Wars. And it's gone, so... You actually really don't have to destroy all the blocks in the game. It just, you know, helps you find power-ups and everything. And if you actually leave some of the blocks around, I'll show you what happens once you grab the shard piece. So let's grab it, and all of them turn into coins. So this is a good way to gain extra lives, because I'm not too sure what the, um, the amount of points you're supposed to grab is, but I think it's at 40,000 first, and you'll get an extra life, then it just increases exponentially or something like that. Wow, that was fail on my part, sorry. <laughs> I missed two of them. Anyway, um, on to stage two of Area 1. Let's keep, go keep it going. Ting! So, Area 1, stage two. Let's do this. Uh-oh. I hate that mouse enemy. It just moves way too fast, and it... Half the time it always sneaks up on me. Got it. Awesome. So let's keep going. Destroy some blocks over here. One, two. Alright. I'm trying to find some power-ups, but I'm just not having any. There we go. This uh that increases the increases the range of your explosions, so that's good to have. And what I just picked up was a kick bomb power up, so it lets you kick bombs. Watch, I'll show it right here. Boink, and it makes a sound too. And you can actually stop bombs that you've kicked with the A button, which I'll show right here. Stop. Perfect kick. I even destroyed that enemy. And here's a bridge. So something fancy about the bridge is you can bomb explosions won't cross them. So you can actually, you know, hide on them, and you'll be safe and sound. Oh, another bomb power-up. That just increases the number of bombs we can drop. And here's something cool that I really want to sh- Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. 
that you can actually drop a bomb underneath the crystal. Oh man. Anyway, if the crystal ball lands on top of one of those, one of your bombs, it'll detonate the bomb automatically. So that's a good way to save time, but it's also pretty scary because, you know, if you power up your bombs a lot, the explosion is going to be huge. So it's going to be hard to get a harder to get away from the blasts because you only have a shorter amount of time. So anyway, let's collect these coins and keep going. I really want to get my extra life. Give me my extra life, and I am not going to come close to collecting all of these at all. Alright, so that was stage two of Act One. You know, I want to see if we can actually... I'm just going to burn through this next stage, because I want to try and compress this first one into one episode of this first area. It's going to be tough to do. Hopefully I do not die, because that's going to ruin it if I do. So let's go, let's go, let's go! Kill this... Get out of here, you dang mouse enemy. Gotcha. Okay, so... As you can see, there's no crystal shard in this area, just because... Um, there's two maps. Yeah, there's two different maps. And once you destroy both crystals of, on this map, you will open this uh, wooden gate at the top right. Oh, and this is actually a fire or a protective vest or something. You can actually um, run through your blast. It leaves you invincible for a short amount of time. So I, I really want to just try and kill this this mouse. Actually, I should probably give up. Oh, got him! Cause yep, my invincibility ran out. So let's, oh, mouse, mouse, run from the mice. Weird mice. Die, die, die. Oop. Cutting it close. Dang, I almost had him. Jeez. Would you die already? Okay, so we have another bomb power up there. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. Whoa, that was close. I almost died right there. There we go, I got that freaking mouse. Finally. Awesome. Oh, and a fire power up. Awesome. Let's keep going and blasting through all of this. Uh oh, not good, not good, not good! I accidentally pressed my bomb button after. So let's get rid of that boxing bunny if I'll ever stop moving. Oh, look, our first kangaroo egg. Let's grab it. Get away. There we go. This one is the pink kangaroo, and his special power, which you can use by pressing your B button, is the power of dance. So anyway, let's kill this mechanical enemy and see if I can... There we go. Drop the bomb underneath the crystal and blew it up. Very nice time saver. So let's grab this crystal shard, collect our coins, and fight the boss. Very faster, faster. Yeah, we did it! We get some a nice round of applause for collecting all the coins. And here's our first boss! Now, it was kind of hard to tell from the silhouette, but hopefully you can guess it. It is a banana and a monkey. Look at that cute little monkey. So this is gonna be really easy. All you do, he doesn't even like chase after you. Just drop a bomb there, drop a bomb there, drop a bomb there, drop a bomb there, and do a little dance to celebrate your victory. And we win. Uh oh, the monkey's on fire. Oh, what's he gonna do? Oh, ran into a wall and he blew up. Huh. <laughs> that reminds me of the movie, the movie, uh, the mummy when the guy gets what a scarab beetle in him and it like takes over his mind and he's like going crazy so he's running and he runs straight into a wall and dies. Yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, so that's our first area. After you beat an area, the slice goes back into the earth, or where the earth should be. So that was pretty much it. And in our next episode, we're gonna head over to area two the Vexen 
Volcano. So I will see all of you later. Jiwo out. See ya.